hi there so this blog on SSAS is, is on currency conversion usually when we uh, develop a cube the measures which are uh, aggregated are usually done in one currency it's either in, in USD or it's generally it's, it's in USD or the GBPs so uh, apart from that there are various, various other uh, currencies in which your cube might need to translate as per the business requirements so to know to get to know about the various means and approaches of currency conversion we would be uh, going through this blog uh, so basically there are uh, three approaches of, of currency conversion based upon uh, the way in which your cube is developed and your facts table is loaded so to start off briefly uh, we have a one a one to many many to one and, and many to many currency conversion approaches what do I mean by each of them is a one to many currency conversion approach would be when uh, when all your fact uh, data or all your aggregated data in, in like it is for fact and sales is, is loaded in one standard currency so here as you can see all of them are actually uh, all the costs and sales amounts are, have been loaded in one standard currency uh, which is your USD so that that is uh, our fact table current internet sales is in one to many uh, approach uh, now when I say one to many is uh, the fact data is loaded in, in one standard currency and once the cube is loaded the translation of those uh, of that standard uh, currency into the respective currencies based upon uh, the uh, users accessing them is what is taken care of by the cube now coming to many to one is when uh, your facts table is loaded uh, loads the data the aggregatable measured data in, in various currencies and uh, it is uh, the responsibility of the cube that uh, that you standardize all the data uh, with, the, with, the, with the exchange rate onto uh, a one standard currencies so basically your cube would translate all the incoming uh, measured data for example your sales your your sales would be or your, or your uh, based upon each record it would be in in a various currencies so each record would mm, this this one record could be uh, in GBP while this record uh, could record the data in, in USD likewise so that would be your many uh, different currencies available in your fact internet sales and you standardize that in, in the cube and translate it to one standard currency that is your many to one the other would be a many to many conversion where you record the data in, in the fact table in various currencies in, in multiple currencies while and then translate again based upon the geographical uh, acts I mean region from where user is accessing the cube you translate them into various other currencies so, so these are the three approaches uh, in which your currency conversion works so for currency conversion to work basically what the two important table that you would need is is, uh, a, far, uh, is a fact currency rate conversion and the dim currency so basically if I were to walk you through uh, the dim currency table is having the metadata of all the various currencies available uh, so you can record that up with with a currency key and an alternate uh, currency key uh, so currently we have um, in the adventure work database hosts 105 different currencies uh, across the globe uh, this is your dim currency or the dimension table now for each of these currencies based on e uh, each day you would have to uh, take up the responsibility of recording the currency rate conversions or the exchange rate so based upon it uh, upon the date key and for that particular currency uh, you have to record what we are doing is we are recording the average rate and the end of rate end of day rate so these are the two various parameters on which you uh, on each day you would try to record uh, the currency rate conversions so these are the two important uh, tables which would help us out uh, in recording and translating the currencies now let's get on to our uh, bus, uh, business intelligence development studio and, and let's take a look how we can do that so to do so currently I have uh, an empty uh, uh, solution where I do not have any cubes I would be developing but first let's jump and take a look at the uh, data source view so currently what I have is a very simple fact fact internet sales uh, a dim date dimension the fact currency rate and the dim currencies so basically uh, if you look at as I said we have a one to many 
currency conversion here we are focusing on one to many currency translation so as you can see there is a, a foreign key between the fact internet sales so I would have to remove it so I delete this relationship and then so how uh, the fact internet sale is going to record is it should follow this path for each of the date keys it would have it would have a foreign key reference to the fact currency rate uh, date key and the currency key based on which uh, if we are choosing the average rate or end of day rate it is going to convert uh, the standard currency uh, from the dimension cur currency table so basically uh, I as and when I know I'm, I know I'm confusing you here so uh, we would as and when we start to develop the cube I think it will be clearer so what we got to do is first of all we have to have a dimension currency so just like let's take a look uh, at the dimension currency and how we have built that the currency is first of all when you're building the uh, the dimension remember the type of the dimension should be currency that's an important part the second uh, important part is if if uh, i were to show you uh, we are using the currency key as the key column and we are using the currency name here that's pretty straightforward as the name column uh, followed by we have declared the type as currency name so that's an important so that so that uh, business intelligence development studio uh, or or the intelligence is able to recognize this as a currency dimension uh, what other thing that we have is uh, we have set up a de uh, the default currency on which everything is being loaded so we have set that up uh, to USD that's an important part and then we have attribute hierarchy visible to true uh, that's all now if I process this dimension If I process this dimension here, I get all the various currencies picked up from the dimension key, uh, a dim currency table. That's uh, the result. So that's about uh, my dimension. And now let's start building the cube. So I start with the cube wizard and I say, let's use an existing table. I use fact internet sales and I have to have a measure fact currency rate which is the uh, measure for converting so I'll not use all the measures I'll just use the sales amount and let me use average rate I uh, we can use end of day rate or average rate for conversion conversion so uh, I'm using I'm going with the average rate uh, for each day uh, from amongst the dimension I would go with product date uh, and currency that's all that I do so what this fetches is if you see this builds my cube of with the measures and the relevant uh, dimensions now what we see here the measure uh, group doesn't so both of these measures it says uh, do not have anything in common between them dot that's all this squiggle means to me now so let's start to see the properties so what it says is it says average rate is sum that's that's quite wrong so I say average of children that would be my aggregatable type here and let's also see the properties here it says regular so I have to declare that as exchange rate so as to so that uh, the SSAS picks that up as an exchange rate for currency that's all I have changed here too. and next I move on to internet sales let me review that so that's that's good that looks good and again the sum so that's uh, that again looks good so if I go to dimension usage I see there is a dimension uh, key which is in common between fact currency rate so what I do here is I add a regular dimension currency key and say okay 
now my squiggle should dis disappear because now there is one dimension which is in common between these two so let me process it up we are not we have done the processing but we are not ready yet so what I got to do is I have to empower SSAS with the intelligence for conversion so I click on business intelligence wizard I use define currency conversion select the currency rate and then you there you see you have all the currencies so basically it would be uh, that currency on which we are using a one to many approach so it should be uh, the currency on which you are loading your the fact records so we are loading it uh, I mean that would be our private currency currency so I use US dollars and here I can use any of them uh, just for the conversion so let me go with Canadian dollar and this is US to this is a mathematical conversion so n US dollars per one Canadian dollar so that's one too many and, and that's the exchange rate that's uh, that's what I declare it here I move on and I select the sales amount since that is the only measurable uh, aggregatable and measurable uh, figure that I have that I have selected here for this example uh, and I have the average rate on which I would be calculating or converting the currencies for each of them and here you you see there are various options uh, as I explained many to many many to one one to many I go with one to many and then I select all the reporting currencies you can alternatively choose to pick only those currencies for your locale so I select all of them and say next so this is the summary of the changes that we have done it says it is going to add reporting currency and then it is going to add all the currencies to it and then the dimension reporting currency would be added and it is going to also add some scripts basically so that will be in your calculations uh, so basically uh, if you were to ch uh, make some changes in your calculations that is where the script you would uh, you would have to tweak them uh, so we have done that so now if you see you have a new dimension reporting currency that has been created here as well uh, they have been created now first and foremost what I have to do here is I have to transverse to the DSV if you see in the DSV there is a, a view data source view that has been created here which is actually a generated query a simple query if I were to copy it and paste it here this gives you all the currencies and currency names so if I were to select only five of the currencies it would actually be only five uh, in this generated or, or data source view so that's my reporting currency uh, so I have to declare this as a logical primary key the second thing is I have to have a foreign key reference that's for the conversion I've done that once that's done uh, I should go to the dimension wizard and let's add a regular so the currency key is is a common attribute between the fact currency rate and the reporting currency the newly added dimension that we have here although we have a many to many uh, between the fact internet sales if you see here and the reporting currency you have the currency rate measure which is going to act as an intermediate handshake weapon for us so basically now I'm ready to process my queue let's see so we have it here now let me add internet sales that is the complete sales amount uh, let me add order date here or wait 
let's add it order date let's add product to product by category then let's have the currency key here so this is by default currently in dollars let's try to change from dollars to let's select euro so that's converting in euros for you let's now go with UK pound so that was a quick uh, introduction to currency conversion from one to many uh, this was uh, through business intelligence wizard uh, that we have used uh, we can also uh, do that manually but I think this would be for first for newbies and for starters you can you can use this uh, and and uh, you will you should be able to uh, convert your currencies from one one to another uh, to point out if you see whatever I explained there would be some new scripts added to your calculations uh, as a part so that's again uh, something which I missed out and, and, and let me add and show you that so apart from that uh, I think this is this is about it uh, for your currency conversions uh, in the next blog maybe we'll take a look at at uh, how we can uh, translate uh, at I mean uh, we'll take a look at language translations uh, which is although not very powerful uh, yet it's worth uh, it's worth knowing uh, so that would be the next blog that I would be working on and, and walking you through Thank you friends uh, and I hope uh, you have been able to follow this blog well enough uh, and you should now be able to convert uh, your measures and your aggregatable sums from one currency to another. Thank you so much.